Hey, what's up everyone? The Siege Lad here. We're here for our final video of this little mini-series. Now, don't worry, I've got a lot more videos planned out for the channel. Now, today we're going to talk about something that really sets aside basic players from the advanced players, and that's vertical play. Now, vertical play is exactly what it sounds like. You you play the game vertically, whether it be from above or below. This kind of play style will really give you an edge over unsuspecting opponents when either attacking or defending an objective. Now during this video, I'm going to go over various examples of different spots and how you can play this game vertically. So I'm not going to go over every single spot on each map because that would take an immense amount of time, but I'm going to give you the most important spots on a couple of the maps that are currently in the ranked pool. Okay, so before I go into all these maps, you got to understand that when doing vertical play, it's a double-edged sword, you know? Everything that I'm about to show you can either be attacked or defended from. So it's say you're defending a site and you open up a hole above the objective and you're waiting for people to run in. If you get killed up there, those attackers are definitely going to take advantage of that hole and they can kill your teammates. So you really got to be careful about how you'd play these things out. Now, I'm not going to say too much as the video goes on, so I'll just kind of commentate as the spots come up. So this whole wooden square in the living room uh, is completely destructible and you can completely take it out. You can see the garage door. If you don't have it, if you're attacking and you forget to bring a thatcher, there's no problem. If you have a sledge or a buck, you can just take that floor out and chuck a grenade over there and you're free to breach it. Also, this site is really good to check any default mirrors that are sitting on that wall, which I'll show here in a second. As you can see right here is where most people put their mirror windows. And if you can get up here and sludge the floor, then you can take out those mirror windows. Okay, so here, uh, people like to default plant in the wine cellar. So what you can do is you can blow out that hatch in the kitchen like I just did. And then you can come up here to the second floor and you can blow a tiny little hole right here in the uh, small office. And you can see all the way down into the wine cellar. So you can either attack or defend uh, wine cellar from here. If you're attacking, you can plant right there and you can come all the way up here and defend the diffuser. And if there's any roamers, they have to come all the way up to try and kill you. Okay, so right here, if you're defending gaming room and bar, you can come up here and pretty much you can either take out the hatch or you can take out the, the entire floor pretty much. This entire room, if it's wooden, it's Pretty much destructible minus the gray parts right here if somebody is if you're attacking and somebody's sitting behind the bar you can come over here poke a little hole through the floor and you can see behind the bar and you can just chuck a grenade right down there okay so right here you are attacking or defending the kitchen and trophy room you can pretty much destroy this entire floor and you can see directly into the kitchen. Right here is a great little hatch to defend this hallway and the stairwell. So here, what I'm showing you is if you are defending the bomb sites that are in master bedroom in the small office, you can actually poke some holes through this floor. Say none of it's destroyed like I've already done. You can poke a hole right there and you can actually see the entrance to the door that leads up to the balcony. Okay, so let's move on to Oregon now. Now there aren't a terrible amount of spots here on Oregon to play vertically, but there are some pretty good ones. So let's start off with Kid's Bedroom. Say you're defending Kid's Bedroom. You can actually shotgun this floor and you can see directly into the hallway below. Also, right here, if you throw a impact grenade in that wall or even a shotgun it, you can see right into the bottom of white stairs. You can, oh, whoops, I messed up my reinforcement there. You can reinforce this middle wall so obviously no one shoots you. 
and then you can sit there and you can defend bottom of white stairs from anyone running up those stairs. Basically, this entire floor is destructible, so if you are attacking kid's bedroom and there's somebody holed up in the, in the, in the bunk room, you can destroy this entire floor and you can kill them from below. And that's pretty much it for Oregon, so next we're going to move on to Hereford Base. Okay, so starting off Hereford Base, we're going to defend the Barrels Brewery. So pretty much you can go up to the second floor where most people breach into and you can actually throw an impact right there. And you can actually look outside from where the attackers are and you can deny any breaches going into the brewery. Okay, so if you were defending kid's bedroom, pretty much the entire ceiling is destructible. So all you have to do is go up here and bust a bunch of holes in the floor if you're attacking and you can see everyone in this room. And so lastly, if you are defending dining room slash piano room or even attacking like like the other site, the entire ceiling is destructible. So all you gotta do is go up to the floor above and start destroying the wood floor. And that's pretty much it for Hereford Base. Next, we're gonna move on to Clubhouse. Okay, so let's get started on Clubhouse here. So first off, we're gonna start off with defending slash attacking cash and stock room. So if you are attacking stock room and people are holed up in the cash room, you can actually go right below them. And this entire ceiling slash floor is destructible as well. Next, let's say you're attacking the gym slash bedroom and they're holed up in the bathroom. Pretty much, the floor is completely destructible, so all you gotta do is go from below, buck some holes in the floor exactly where I'm shooting, and then from there, you can just chuck a grenade into the bathroom and kill anyone in there. Okay, so if you're attacking and the defenders are holding in church, pretty much you can just shoot out this whole floor in the hallway and you can see into the stairwell slash the hallway below you. It takes a lot of shots, so I don't really recommend it, but it's definitely possible. Or you can come right into the kitchen here and then you can buck out some holes in the floor and then you can see directly into the armory. And that is pretty much it for all the important spots in Clubhouse. Next, we're gonna move on to Bank. Okay, so here's Kafai Dofayeski, however you pronounce it. I may have pronounced it wrong, but we're gonna start off with defending third floor. Uh, people forget this entire third floor balcony is actually destructible. So defending this makes it fairly easy because you can just sit there and poke holes where people like to default plant the diffuser. So you poke those holes and then you can actually just go below and then just watch the feet run around.
And it's also good if you're attacking because then you can actually just go into reading room and below and destroy the, the floor above you. And you can actually chuck grenades into the freezer where people might be holed up. Okay, so moving on to attacking slash defending mining room. This is more of attacking, really. So, like everything else, the this entire room floor is destructible. So, if you're having trouble attacking it head-on, just come upstairs and destroy the floor, and you can see into the entire objective. And that pretty much sums up all the important spots for Cafe. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I have time for. I'm sorry I didn't get to the last few maps that are in the ranked pool. If you guys really want them, let me know in the comments and I can make another video finishing out the vertical play for the other maps. Now, I really hope that you guys kind of take this video and basically just use your imagination and spark some creativity and you'll be able to go about ranked in a new way. You know, I'm telling you right now, if you're stuck in gold and you apply these vertical plays that I just showed you, you're going to get a lot of surprise reactions and it'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. You know, the reason for that is because, you know, everyone you know knows how to destroy walls and stuff, but everyone forgets that the floors and the ceilings are actually destructible too, and it never really crosses anyone's minds to actually utilize that. Well, as always, I really hope you guys learned something from this, and I will see you guys in the next video.